Excited? No? Good morning, everybody. We are bass fishing with the man, Lunkers TV. We are on a lake I've never been to. He's been to uh, a few times, but I've never been here. And it's my last day in Texas. We're gonna make we're gonna make it happen today. Hoping hoping we actually find some good fish. It's been a struggle this week. It's been a, been a real struggle. I haven't found any giants. I think the biggest bass I've caught this week is like three and a half pounds. Pretty much a Nebraska brew. So we're looking for look for like that four, five to to twelve range or so today. That's what we're hoping for. Some giant giant fish. Cloudy, cold. I'm thinking chatterbait and maybe a little bit of flipping bite. I'm hoping we get on a flipping bite. That'd be very exciting. But uh, yeah, hope you guys enjoy and stay tuned. Yep. Got him. Got him. Yep. Oh, he's running. He's running. He's running. Stay out of there. That's actually not a bad fish. He was just coming at me. I don't. I should I hit the squat? I I gotta do it. I'm with Rob. I gotta hit it. Gotta hit the kneel. Wow, he's actually better than I thought he was. It's a longer fish. All right, come here, little guy. Woo! It's a big, bigger than any fish I caught the last four days fishing in Texas. My first one here at the new lake is not a bad fish. Beautiful, beautiful little guy there. I caught that guy on a nice little soft plastic there, a little craw, just flipping and pitching. There's some reeds and some uh, and some timber, and that's basically what we're doing right now. But nice, nice little largey first fish. See, you, buddy. All right, that makes me feel good. Yeah, like I was saying, there's timber, timber, reeds. There's like a shallow little pocket cove, and Rob and I, we're just, he's caught a few fish. We're just flipping and pitching all the way down. He's throwing a jig. I'm throwing this just natural little craw here, just trying to get a few bites, and then we're hoping for some bigger fish, though. It's been, it's been a struggle the last few days fishing in Texas. No one's caught any big fish, nothing over, nothing over four pounds, so we're going to hopefully, hopefully do that today. And these fish are going to be stacked up in these trees a little bit more than than they were on the stretch that we just hit this, this little section looks pretty good got him got him oh, so he was there was some in there okay. oh, that's a decent fish too that's a decent fish too yeah it's not a giant but it's a good one Oh yeah! Oh, look at her taking me to the back, taking me to the back. Good, good, good. I like to see that. There we go. There we go. Get her in the boat, Blair. Woo! There we go. Okay. Now we talking, boys. Rob just missed one. I just caught one. We just we've been fishing for the last 45 minutes without a bite. I mean, he smoked it. This is this is basically we're flipping reeds. There's no wood here, but. Oh, I love Texas fish. They just, they fight so freaking hard. Gorgeous, gorgeous baby. Let's see, buddy. On the Texas rig. That's what's doing it today. Rob and I, my hands are numb. I don't know, you guys can't obviously tell how cold it is, but kind of having a hard time feeling my hands at the moment. But uh, it's cold, it's windy. We're out of the wind now. We tried the wind blown side, didn't work. Came back in this cove. Rob just had a bite. I just caught that one, so that's good. We might be onto something here. We, we we ventured away from the wood. We were thinking the wood is the key, but there's absolutely no wood around where I caught that fish. So we're just gonna keep on flipping away and see what happens. This is the stuff we're flipping. This is I don't even know what the exact technical term of this. I mean, it could it could be a reed. I don't know what the the actual tall grass grass looking reed looking. Yeah, see, those are the reeds that I, I I'm used to. Is. I don't know what this is, but something. If you guys know in the comments, let me know. It's really thin. Looks like it's a round, maybe hollow. I don't know. Brown looking bushy things, but we're just flipping away right here. And I caught that one off that point. So see if we can get a mondo here. We got to find find the big girls. Right there. Boom.
You might want to set the hook on that fish, you good? idiot. Yeah. Oh, it's a good fish. That is a good fish. Dude, good. I was reeling him in for like 10 seconds. Goodness! Come on now. All right, thumbnail. Come here now, right here. All right, oh, oh, yeah, that's a good thumbnail right there. Oh, we're doing big thing. It's going to pop off, but God dang, son. All right, we got thumbnail. We got thumbnail. Come here now. Come here, buddy. Oh, baby. Woo! That's what we're talking. I feel way better about my life. That is the biggest bass I have caught in a couple of years. So I don't know. It's been a minute since I caught a fish that big since Mexico for sure. But that I was just bringing him in. He was swimming. I was like, oh, hey, little buddy, you're just you're just eating my craw. So I should probably set the hook sometime today. Oh man, look at that! I would give him. You want to? Let's do, let's do a guessing game here. I'm gonna say. You want to guess the weight? Let's do a guess the weight. Let's see what he looks like. Real quick. I'm gonna say he's four. Four. He's four, just under four. All right, let's see. He's. I bet he's a little bit more than that. I bet he's four. I'm gonna say four and a quarter. Four and a quarter. Yeah. So four, four and a quarter. We're gonna see what we got here. Oh, we can't play the guessing game. What the hell? I don't know. Do you think that's three thir three pounds thirteen ounces probably? Oh, what is this saying? What's going on here? This is working just fine yesterday. A whopping one ounce, according to this scale. Something, something's wrong with the scale, but Rob and I will come to agree that it's about four pounds. Right there, baby. It's about a four pound or so. Broken scale, but uh, that's a nice fish. Back in the water she goes. See you later, Big Bertha. Bye, buddy. Woo! Finally. Oh, that's what I was after. Nothing, nothing that was two pounds. We needed, we needed that good size fish. That's what we needed. Uh, Rob and I, still think we got us around the wood though. That's the only difference. Made a little bit of a move here. Now we're around the wood. And uh, yeah, like I said, that one, I didn't feel it pick it up, but I just felt my line tight and it was coming right at the boat and I set the hook. Finally caught that fish, so that's a good sign. We're gonna keep on flipping. I'm throwing the same same little plastic curl that I have been. It's really cold, my hands are actually numb, especially after putting it in that water, but we're still grinding, folks. We still gotta catch some more fish. Yup, 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 There we go, baby. Woo, finally, come on now. Get up in here, son. Get up in here, baby. There we go. Rob and I were just about to call it quits, and uh, oh, pff, he literally wasn't even hooked. Was it? No, he wasn't even hooked at all. He was just he was just chewing on it. But there we go. That's another fish. Changed up colors a little bit. Watermelon red, and I actually started dyeing the uh, the tips in a little bit of chartreuse action. I don't know if that made a difference. Probably not. But to me, it made me feel a little bit more confident. But we're just about to call it quits because you know we can't feel our feet, we can't feel our hands. It is so stinking cold, but. Get this guy back in the water. See you, buddy. We are we're still flipping and pitching a little bit. And uh, like I said, we were just we were just about to call it quits. This was the last pocket of the day. Pulled out of the wind, and uh, just fishing down fishing down these reeds that Rob and I we don't know the name of, but we're fishing down them. And that dude, I just I pumped it once, and he smoked it, and and uh, and swung into him. Not a not a terrible day on the water. We still got a little bit more more shoreline to cover too. So we're gonna see if catch one more before we call it a day. Oh, we made it. As you can tell, we are, uh, we're leaving. Got some hypothermia today, but uh, you guys gotta see how many boats are in this parking lot, or how many trailers in this parking lot, how many boats are on the lake. It is insane. So this is a rel relatively small body water, but look at this. The whole thing, this whole, whole parking lot. This whole parking lot is full. And this is a fairly small lake in Texas. This is, I don't know, there's probably, 30 30 boats on this it is freezing granted it's on a saturday but it is so cold i don't know you guys in texas you guys are crazy i know you guys think we're crazy in nebraska for ice fishing this this is freaking crazy two thousand years later oh hey guys my name is flair and i forget to do outros in my video so here i am in the arctic tundra i like to call nebraska and i am back home it's a couple days later after you guys are watching this video that i actually filmed this video but i'm back in nebraska doing a little bit of ice fishing just a little bit of ice fishing and then uh and then rob and i are actually taking a trip together somewhere you know somewhere across the country i've never actually fished before so anyways i'm gonna end the video here really do appreciate you guys tuning in if you've made it to this point you know, I really want to show love to you guys that are staying to the very, very end. So, do me a favor, comment down below your favorite color, and, and I'll pick one of you guys to win a, uh, 
Oh, let's just do a mystery tackle box since I'm since I'm wearing this. So, if you want to win a mystery tackle box, comment your favorite color. It'll probably confuse the hell out of all the people that did not make it to the end of the video, but it doesn't matter, okay? Comment your favorite color. I'm going to select one of you guys. I'll give it like three, four days. I'll select one of you guys, send you a free mystery tackle box for staying to the end of the video. So, if you guys are watching this, stay to the end of all of my videos because I might just start doing this. I might just make this a tradition to where you have to comment something totally whack, and the only way you're able to find out is by watching to the very end of the video. So, anyways, comment your favorite color. My favorite color is red, and uh, and yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. If you need to uh, get any coffee, we got some free range down below. I've got flare gear, I've got Guggen gear, I've got favorite rods. We've got all sorts of great stuff, all linked down below, as well as Lungros TV's YouTube channel. If you haven't checked that out, what the heck are you doing, dude? Go check it out. Thank you guys so much for watching, and peace.